molar mass, right? So the mole, which is the amount that contains as many particles as they're in, in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. Um, Avogadro's number is the number of particles of in one mole of a pure substance. And 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd will be very important for later, so keep that in mind. Um, and then molar mass um, is the mass of a pure substance, and we use grams per mole for a unit. We carry it by two decimal places. Stick. Okay. All right. Um, so, for example, if we would do chlorine, chlorine would be 35.4523. And we would carry the decimal to places. So it would be 35.45. And since it's molar mass, we have to use our units. So it would be grams per mole, which is MOL. Um, another example would be cobalt, which is uh, 58.933. Now again, we would carry the decimal two places. So it would be 58. 0.93 grams grams per mole. Okay? And then this one's a little harder, okay? So then we have water, H2O. So then we would um, put we would find oxygen, which is 15.999. We do not carry the decimal. Um, and you would add that to hydrogen, which is uh, 1.00799, okay? And that would equal um, 18.02 grams per mole. Right now, I want you to try. Pause this video, try it on your own. What was it, 79.904? You would carry the decimal two places, and you should get 79.90. And don't forget your units, grams per mole. All right, now we're moving on to mole mass problems. So I have this little sheet sheet right here. Um, so what is the mass of 3.50 moles of copper? So if we look up here, we have the amount of moles in this element. So we have to find the mass. So we're going down here. So it would be like 350 mol. Please put your units on, it's important. Um, multiplied by the molar mass of the element, which, of copper, which should be, what, 63.55 grams over 1 mol, and that should be equal to 22 grams, okay? And we would also cross out our MOLs, okay? So then, number two, I would like you to try this by yourself. What is the mass, a mass of 48.90 MOL of Kr? So please pause this video and try to add your own. All right. So your answer should be, since we're finding the mass, we're going down here, find the amount. We have the amount of moles right here. So we're going down, finding the mass. So what are we? 48.90. 
0.90 mol times the molar mass unit or of the element, excuse me, and that would be 83.80 grams over one mole, and that should be uh, 40, 97.82 grams. Okay, so that should be your answer.